All right, in case you've been hiding under a rock, you realize the Broadway musical The Lion King is playing right now at Juanita K. Hammond's <sighs> Hall. It runs through Sunday, so you better hurry if you want to go see it. I'm just saying. Yeah, now, earlier yeah. this week, Joy talked to a makeup artist. You, you became Rafiki. I did become yeah, Rafiki. It was, it was way yeah. cool. All right, today, Kelly goes backstage to check out the Lion King wardrobe, and here's what she found. I'm backstage at Juanita K. Hammond's Hall talking with Gregory Young, who is the wardrobe supervisor for this show that you may have heard of, The Lion King. It is amazing. I saw it last night, and I'm still blown away, Gregory. Nice That's to see you. Nice to see you, too. Welcome. Thank you. What a great job you have. Uh, yeah, it's busy. It's how, how long have you been doing this job? I started Original Broadway, 97. I did that for nine years, and I'm going on 10 years with the tour. So. 19 years. You were there at the very beginning. At the beginning, yes. Yes, and these costumes, I have to tell you, they are, they're mind blowing. They truly are. Um, you deal with making sure that they're all in good shape and they're all in order. Tell me, tell me what you do back here. Well, at the beginning, when a new uh, performer comes in, we have to get them fitted for new costumes, order new costumes. Oh. So we, that's the beginning of it, and then for the maintenance of it, we have. Um, Anything that touches their skin has to be washed every day, every right. performance. And we have every city we pick up a dry cleaners that we have to take it to. For every two weeks, everything has to be dry cleaned. Right, because these performers work super hard out there. They put their heart into it. You can see it on stage. And some of these co costumes are truly intricate. Now, I want to talk about the designer, first of all. Uh, who's the designer Julie of these? Julie Taymor. Right. She also directed the show. And she won a Tony for these costumes. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting. Now, how often do these have to be replaced? It all depends on the costume, the line of silks. Um, it depends if they're fading. It depends on the city, how hard the water is and stuff like that. But most last about a year. Yeah. About a year. Mm -hmm. Do you replace them one at a time or do you just get a whole different fleet? They're one at a time because some wear uh, different from others, so it all depends on that performer and what they're doing in the show. If theirs last as long as they're the other person. Do you have? Do these performers stick around for a lot of years, or do you have to replace these, the costumes no, they to fit stick someone new? Pretty much. So we're going on a year and a half now. So and well, it's the same performers when we first started this tour. Right, and talking about the line of silks, when you get up close and you look at that, is this all hand done? Yes, the corsets are all hand beaded, and there are 16 to 18 designs, depending who's in the show, mm -hmm. because the, every line has their own colorway and a design of the show, of corsets and the beading, so all the beading is done uh, separate from each person. So. You have to think ahead, and you have to prepare ahead, because it, I, I'm assuming it takes a long time to put one of these together. Mm -hmm. The turnaround time that we have to give the shops to make it is eight weeks. Eight weeks. I'd say there's several people working on that. Yes. Yes. Because uh, there are different aspects of the corset that has to be done. So once the corset is built, then they send it out to the beater or give uh -huh. it to the beading department. Yes. They do the beading. Talk about the pods. What are the pods, the green pods? Talk about how the, those are made. And, and I held one up, and mm -hmm. they're, they're kind of heavy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are heavy. They are maybe the heaviest that the ladies have to wear in the show. Mm -hmm. uh, it's part of the Can You Feel the Love scene mm -hmm. when Simba takes Nalos to this lush place mm -hmm. and then everything starts to bloom and then the dresses, you'll see the, how they transform. They do, and a lot of these pieces do that. They're one thing and then all of a sudden they open up and there are so many different things. And the color that she uses in these costumes is just gorgeous. The beginning of the show is mostly in your earth, earth tone colors, mm -hmm. muted colors, browns goes and then it turns into a second act you get to the brighter color. Right. And is it your job to set things up in order now? Is there you put like all the same costumes together and everybody has got a specific costume that is theirs each night? Yes, everyone has their own costume. In each city we pick up 16 dresses and they are we always are seen ahead of the performer. So and you'll see the bunker back here. Um, they all have their little section mm -hmm. back here. And then while we're presetting for the next costume while they're out on stage. And that makes sense. Having been a performer and having done this, so this makes sense. You've got people that help them get into their costumes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. <laughs> it really does. Now, talk about transportation of these these costumes. Uh, you must have a whole uh, trailer full of all of these costumes. Yeah. We take up a whole trailer and we share with hair and makeup. But uh, all the costumes live in a gondola 
uh, that we call, this is the bunker where we call. So everything, all the costumes for the show is here, mm -hmm. except for principals. The principal costumes live in their dressing rooms, but they also have a gondola for each every costume. So at the end of the run in each city, we just close it up and then roll it onto the truck. Thanks, Gregory, for Thank talking you. to me. This is so interesting. Thanks I love it. Coming. The show's amazing. <laughs> What a great show. So let me get this straight. Those costumes are cleaned every day. Yeah. And they still last a year. Yeah. They, they'll clean them every day, and I think every two weeks they get dry cleaned. What so. kind of Teflon are those things made out of? How can anything that you clean every single day make it a year? I That's don't know. unbelievable to me. I, I, I don't know, but... They're the pros. Oh, they are so good at it. And the show's fantastic. If you haven't seen it, get out there to see it. It runs through Sunday, and it is just gorgeous. And like you said, pay attention to the colors and the yeah. changes. And the, it's just every, and it's, in, it's all around you, yeah, too. It all yeah. comes to life. Yes, it does. It's just fabulous. It really is. All right. Up next, our girl, Janet Parker, is back in the kitchen. Yep, that means Hot Light Delight is coming up next. Oh, yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs>